guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Jen on Acre by the Creek. Today we're gonna to be showing you our exterior house painting project and we will tell you how much it costs for us to get this project done. Before we get into it, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. That basically just tells YouTube that this is a good video and they'll start showing it to other people too. So I really appreciate your guys' support. All right, that's enough, let's get into it. guys if you've never used an oil-based primer in the past it's really not the funnest thing to work with it was really thick like glue so eventually we had to use gloves while we were using it this actually ended up being our least favorite part of the project it was just so thick thick and difficult to work with and not only were the cedar shingles the hardest layer to paint on but then you add in the fact that using this oil based primer was so hard to work with that priming was definitely our least favorite part of the entire project due to the difficulty of using oil based primer we recommend wearing gloves and thinning it a bit with mineral spirits so when we got around to painting the east and west side of the house, we weren't able to pull the basket up to the house like we did on the north and south sides because the roof is pitched. So Nick went ahead and built us a platform so that we would be able to stand safely next to the dormers and get, get the paint on. Basically, he did this by using a piece of plywood and doing a little bit of framing to support it. On the feet of the platform, he put some conveyor belt material, which is really grippy and against the roof shingles, it held really well and I was not scared at all of slipping. It was super nice to have this platform to work on. I didn't have to stand directly on the pitch of the roof. It kind of leveled things out for me and I felt a lot safer. And because I'm not always on roofs, obviously, it just made me feel a lot more comfortable and not like I was constantly having to catch my balance. Give you a better idea how this is gonna work. Now that we're all flipped over right side right. That'll adjust for the angle right here. That's what that hinge is for. And then the rubber's on the bottom here to help hold it on the roof. And then I'll run a couple screws in here and I'll run a couple more in here just to reinforce it. And then that should level this panel out. You can see how this is on the angle here to be able to sit on the roof. Okay guys, let's be honest. The reason that you clicked on this video was to find out how much it costs to paint the exterior of your house yourself. So I'm gonna break it down for you. First, we started with four paint samples and they were $8.49 each. So that gave us a total of $33.96 for paint samples. Unfortunately, they are not free. Next, we had to buy an oil-based primer for our cedar shingles and some caulk for the windows and other things and it was five gallons of the primer and and a case of 12 caulk tubes that total was 283 dollars and 27 cents we then purchased five gallons each of the paint colors so we had five gallons of edamame five gallons of fax fire brown and five gallons of ponytail each of which came to a grand total of 235.75 each so all in all, we painted our house for $1,024.48. I never said that this was going to be a super cheap project, but when you compare it to having a professional come in and how much you're gonna be paying those guys and their whole crew to come in to paint your house, it is a huge difference. It typically is gonna be about $10,000 to get your house professionally painted. So we did it for literally a fraction of the cost. Now, don't forget, like I mentioned in our paint prep video, you are going to need so much time to DIY paint your house. Please do not forget to consider time is also money.
So I figured I would show you guys the color swatches that we were looking at. First was this pineapple sage color. This one here, this is a glidden color from Home Depot. And originally we really liked it, but once we put it on to the wall, we thought it was way too like yellowy, like it wasn't green enough. It had that yellowish undertone. All right, I'm about to head over to Sherwin-Williams. Gonna check out some swatches because it feels weird to go with your first pick. We picked out this color, we like it. Not convinced that we love it, so I'm gonna get one more sample just to make sure that we're making the right decision. And then the next color is this Foxfire Brown. This is also a glidden color from Home Depot. And we really liked it. What we're going for is like a coppery um, terracotta kind of vibe with it. So then we have the main house color. I can't remember the name of this one. I'll put it up on the screen later. Um, and then automatically we knew, yes, that's 100% the color that we're going in for the, uh, for the aluminum siding. And then we ended up picking up this green, which is the edamame. And we liked that a lot better than the pineapple sage. So we ended up choosing that one. This is a Sherwin-Williams color. And then just to show you kind of the difference between this one is the pineapple sage and this one is the edamame. And you can see this just is so much more yellow. So I'll back up so that you can see them all again here. And when the color is on the trim for the Foxfire Brown, it just looks, it pops so much and it looks like copper. So let me back up and I'll show you guys how that looks. So I'm about to roll the aluminum siding down here. It'll be the first side to get the um, aluminum color on it. But I just wanted to show you how these colors contrast. Honestly, guys, we had a lot of people see this and not like it. They were like, when they saw the swatches down here, they didn't really know what we were thinking or what we were doing. After putting it together on the house and people seeing that, it's like it clicked. They saw our vision. And we still had like one specific naysayer, which is fine. Um, our answer to that was, hey, it's our house. We live here, we like it, we love it. And that's really all that matters, so. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Do you think that this is too much of a contrast? Do you think it's just enough? What do you think? Thanks so much for watching guys. We're gonna keep on painting. If you made it to the end of this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps us out. And if you haven't yet, make sure that you're subscribed with the bells on so that when we finish this project and we give you the big reveal, you don't miss it. We'll be back on Tuesday with a two minute Tuesday gardening tip and on Friday with another video. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.